there, how are you? Often, we struggle with managing our time and prioritizing tasks, both at work and in our personal lives. It can be very stressful, especially when we have multiple tasks to be accomplished within a certain period of time. So how are we going to choose which ones to do first? My name is Jaya, I'm a career coach. If you're watching my video for the first time, please hit the subscribe button. Today, we will discuss about Eisenhower decision metrics. Probably you heard about it. It's an easy method to manage your time and prioritize your task. Put all the tasks that you have into A, B, C, and D. The urgent and important ones should go first. The important and non-urgent you can schedule. Urgent and non-important can be delegated and non-urgent, non-important are like time wasters that you can delete. Let's explore this with some examples. So what are some examples for urgent and important? Angry or disappointed clients. You cannot push it further. You have to deal with it right away to make sure the clients come back to your business. Any projects that have tough deadlines, you would need to do that on an urgent and important basis. Any crisis that you want to handle. Any problems that you have noticed, you need to solve it as quickly as possible. Important and non-urgent. Some of the examples for important and non-urgent are learning and upskilling. It's very important for your career development and personal development. Weekly planning. Once you plan it, it becomes a lot more easier, so it's important. Creating a budget, whether that's weekly, monthly, yearly, that really helps as well. Strategizing, whether it's for your business, whether it's about your next move in your career, having that strategy really helps. It's important. Next one is networking. Networking helps you in your career advancement, either with job leads or to keep yourself updated in what's happening in your industry. There are certain tasks that are urgent and not important. One of the examples is paying your bills. If you do not pay your bills on time, they may disconnect the services and you wouldn't be able to enjoy it any longer. So it's urgent, so you need to do that. But you can delegate it and get somebody else to do the clinical work for you. Another one is responding to emails and text messages. Most of the time, the person that sends you a text message or email expects you to respond faster. Running your errands is another example for this one. You need grocery, you need food to eat, but you can assign somebody else to do that for you. Filing taxes is on this list as well so you know you have to do that within the deadline but you know it well before so that you can plan and schedule and get it done d non-origin and non-important scrolling through your social media is a big one it's a big time waster for most of us we often lose track of time when we are on social media Gossiping and spreading rumors can be a big time waster in your life. So if possible, do not listen to other people's gossip and do not spend time on gossiping. Watching television consumes a lot of time as well. If you're addicted to shopping, that could consume a lot of time as well, even if that's just window shopping might consume a lot of time you can eliminate this one task that will save you a lot of time another one is email threads and memes if you read all the email threads and respond to each and every one of those most of the time you would not add any value to what you do so now you know how to put all the tasks that you have into a b c and t 
So A are those which are urgent and important. You need to do that now. B is important and non-urgent. You can plan and schedule it for later. C is urgent and not important that you can delegate or delay. And D is non important and non urgent, which can, you can eliminate or declutter. So, no more time wasters. So, if you do like this, you are going to save your time and manage your time and prioritize really well. So, good luck with your time management. If you like this content, please do not forget to like, share, and comment. Also, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Until we meet next time, take care. Bye bye.